We talked last week about Mayor Jim Strickland's nominee to uh, replace J.T. Young at MLGW. It's Doug McGowan, who is currently his chief, chief operating officer. Uh, Doug McGowan, according to the mayor, is the best man for the job. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Mm -hmm. uh, but the city council chairman, Martavius Jones, apparently is not so sure about that. In fact, he had the item pulled off the agenda for this week's council meeting. And so far, it remains off the agenda as we sit here and, and talk about this. And there was a vote by a city council committee where five people, uh, council members, voted for a resolution encouraging the mayor to hire an out of uh, and do a national search right. and five council members abstained which is a high number of council members to abstain I think it's worth noting uh, Susan I'll let you go with this first I know that you're a supporter of the whole issue with uh, uh, MLGW leaving the TVA we should get that out of the way but what are your thoughts about what's going on internally here between the city council chairman and the mayor well it could be a test of wills but Look, let me tell you, I don't know Martavius very well. I think I've met him a few times, but his reputation precedes him. He's known as a bit of a, con of a contrarian, and I'm guessing that's what's going on here. Martavius, if you'll recall, was the only vote against C.J. Davis for police chief, so his push for a national search for a uh, chief for Memphis Light, Gas, and Water really isn't very surprising. Um, I don't... Um, I think it's really some political posturing on Martavius's behalf and, and and a little bit of attention getting. But I think when push comes to shove, there will be not be a national search because the mayor has already said there's not going to be a national search. I mean, it, it, I don't know why some of the council members just jumped on board and supported a national search. Maybe it was a bit of a collegial type of vote or a little bit of a, a, a being deferential to, to Mar Martavius. But the mayor has said repeatedly he's not going to have a national search. What they voted for on the council was strictly a non-binding resolution. The mayor doesn't have to go by it. So he, the mayor has said he has picked the perfect person who just works a few doors away from him in City Hall. And that's exactly what's going to happen either next week or maybe the following week. The mayor has the votes to uh, put Doug McGowan in that position. That's the thing, right, Brad? Uh, he, they can pass yeah. all the resolutions they want on this particular issue, but if the mayor doesn't want a national search, the, there's absolutely no teeth to that resolution. Yeah, and I, and I covered this meeting in person uh, this past week, and it was interesting that, yeah, there were five abstentions, but I, I really feel like, in a way, there were only 10 council members present at the time. I really feel like, in a way, it was, uh, they were, you know, giving a little, uh, they wanted to give the respect to the full 13 member council. I don't know if this resolution is going to garner the seven votes uh, needed. I, I know Martavius Jones mentioned in that discussion that uh, Mayor Strickland looked outside before deciding on inside for director uh, rawlings at the time back in 2016 also pointing out that there was a national search for the memphis animal services and it ended up being a, a more of a local hire so i feel like to susan's point there's a little bit of checks and balances i know the mayor has the power to make appointments and nominations it's the council's job to potentially push back on that uh, my gut is that this resolution will not get the seven votes and my uh, gut is that doug mcgowan will be the next uh, president and ceo of MLGW, and I think that timing is really of the essence here because uh, potentially some out-of-state search could, which could last months. This also comes with the timing of the resolution, the power supplier recommendation to stay with the TVA. So I think timing of all of that potentially is a factor in this as well. Yeah. Your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, to, to Susan's point, I, this is a little bit of a petty politics going on here, Richard. Uh, my sources tell me that uh, uh, it, Jones and maybe some others uh, were not all that happy because the mayor didn't call them directly uh, and personally and tell them what he planned to do. He announced it that he may have called two or three council members, but he didn't call all of them. Uh, and there's also the issue around this is not much about McGowan as it is about the mayor uh, and people like Martavius Jones and maybe a couple of others who have somewhat of a petty beef with the mayor. They're just trying to make life a little more miserable for him. That's all that's going on here. It'll not go anywhere and I believe that the mayor will get his appointment. Okay, so we all think he has the seven votes. Oh, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, and, and to, Otis, to Otis's point, the mayor's office did not respond to this latest vote uh, on Tuesday. So I, I, in a way, I, I interpret that as a reporter, as that he's going to stay above the fray. He made his comment last Friday at an event. Doug's my man. 
I think he's just going to let this play out potentially, and it could be bygones come next week. Okay. All right. We'll be keeping an eye on that. When we come back, we're going to talk about uh, some sports news, some big sporting news, if you're a Memphis Tigers fan for sure. Go Tigers, uh, go. <laughs> the extension <laughs> of the contract of Penny Hardaway when we come back.